Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, June 12th, 2018. And uh, I was just sitting here writing the channeled message that has already been posted in our Facebook group uh, with the windows open because it's a beautiful morning here in Ohio. The sun is rising, as you can see through the trees. The, the breeze is balmy and gentle and the birds were quite vocal um, this morning and up to a few minutes ago as I was writing the message. It's gone a little quiet. I don't know if they're out looking for food, searching for breakfast, uh, or if they have fluttered along to other trees, but I'll leave the window open and let's hope they come back and visit us because it's always nice to listen to them while we do this. And of course, Mason is here. He is patiently waiting <laughs> for mommy to make his breakfast, right? And um, he just doesn't want to have to wait long. What's going on here? Let's get this fur out of your eye. Um, don't make me wait too long, woman, because I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about what's going on over here. All right, um, I don't even know where to start. I do, but I don't. The energy between the two is very different, okay? So this is obviously the pulled cards for today. And again, the channeled message has already been written and posted in the Facebook group. So I'll put the link in the comment section and the description box below. Please uh, come on over and join us. Grab a cup of coffee. Um, messages are, are um, you know, definitely worth reading. And while they, like I say every morning, they are congruent with the energy of the cards, the message is different. Um, it's just, you know, it just comes from spirit. So um, it's just different. It's hard to describe. You'll know when you read it. You'll know what I mean. So this is for the actual energy of today. And then this over here is on the bottom of the deck. I decided to pull them again today. And I'll tell you what, completely different energy. <laughs> um, this, there, a lot of love going on over here. Okay. Love, all kinds of love, different variations of love, different types of relationships. But there is an absolute, very strong element of romantic love here. And it's beautiful. Um, I just had to show you because I don't know. Uh, it's so it's so beautiful and, and like ideal that um, those of you that are struggling in your love lives or if you're estranged from your lover or if you're just single and you're waiting and hoping for someone to come in or you've been waiting for love for a long time, look at these cards. I mean, it's coming. <laughs> love is in the air this summer. Summer loving, summer romance, uh, whether it is just a summer fling for some of you, others of you, this could definitely be soulmate and life partner, um, the love of your life. It's just the energy and the potential is there for everyone. So I'll get to that in just a second, but let's talk about this for today. Okay, so first and foremost, your oracles for today. <clears throat> You've got holiday, passion, and heart's desire. And I just like chuckled when these literally, they flew out of the deck one by one, landed on the floor. And, um, and I just chuckled because it's like, it's again, out of the entire deck, these are the three cards that come out. And I was only going to allow two, but the third one popped right after the passion this third one popped and it was, you could just tell that it was an absolute must necessary to include it um, in today's message. So again, guys, I haven't had coffee yet. So we have holiday passion and heart's desire. I think I already said that and I'll flip these over. I'm honestly, I'm feeling the buzz of this reading too. It's not just the fact that I haven't had coffee. I'm feeling the buzz of the reading. I'll hold this so that you can Pause the video and read it for yourself if you want. Um, I am feeling the buzz of this reading. It's almost like drunk on love. That's what it feels like this morning. And um, drunk on your own heart's desires and drunk on passion and drunk on, you know, just the, 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 um, the fun-loving nature uh, of this and, and even taking a holiday, right? Um, but you know, down here, this is definite in internal conflict going on within you. And you know, it's like there's rays of sunshine within you. There's a cup of love. There's a lot of hope and dream and abundance and wanting to come into your own. 
but there's worry, fear, and anxiety attached to it. Um, there's tower moments that will come as a result of making decisions, dealing with other people in your life, wanting to work together, maybe, so, maybe other people don't and you have to kind of walk your path uh, on your own. This could be for some of you family who is not supportive or happy in the decisions that you're making to live your authentic self, your authentic life, your authentic purpose. And so, you know, it causes upheaval within the family unit, family unit, and therefore you're kind of in your head and, you know, very worried, um, and you feel beaten up as a result of it, and you can't move on you know, from this family dynamic because they're your family, right? It's, that's ties, those are ties that are very hard to break. But nonetheless, you still need to move forward because on either side of this, you've got the sun, you've got the ace of cups. And down here, this is you coming into your own. So it doesn't matter who you are and how old you are. Whether you're 20 years old watching this video or you're 60 years old watching this video, there is an element of coming into your own in some way okay maturity um life path um no longer being in denial about something finally owning your own power and truth and making decisions that reflect that and not worrying about what other people think uh you know just all of that kind of stuff if you're getting very clear about what you want who you are where you need to be, where you need to go, opening yourself up to that. Because this in the reverse position basically talks about you being very closed off. And I have that fist, you know, it's like closed off. Not necessarily in fight mode, but closed off, meaning your, your heart is closed. It's not open. And, um, and you're not open and you're not able, ready, and willing to receive as a result of it. Receive signs and guidance from spirit. Receive love from others. Give love to yourself. Very closed. <laughs> and, um, and, but now, as a result of the pain and the discord and being discontent and dissatisfied and being stuck and stagnant for so long, you are like this and you are opening up like a flower, right? I always use the flower thing. Flowers are big for me. I don't know why. But they are. I was out sniffing rose bushes the other day. Lovely. And so anyways, all of a sudden, clarity is coming in for you. And, and that clarity is giving you that, um, that confidence here. The sun card is, is not just about vital life force. It's not just about, you know, um, <clears throat> good energy and fun and fun in the sun or um, healthy and all that kind of stuff. Sun comes out and everything grows, right? Without the sun, the world would perish. But this is also a card of confidence. This is also a card of reconnecting, obviously, within yourself emotionally, reconnecting with your heart's desires, reconnecting with um, a spirit that's coming in and bringing things for you in divine timing. And as a result of this, there's clarity that's coming in for you. Also, the tower moment in your life, uh, whether it has already happened or it's due to come in, that's going to be causing this anxiety, you know, sleepless nights, this is the nightmare card kind of thing. That tower moment is going to be bringing in clarity for you. The tower moment that comes in or has come in made things fall down and go boom, right? And whether that is in your physical world, in your, your job, your career, your home, your foundation, your location, or something fell down in terms of relationships, something broke apart, whether it's with your spouse or your family of origin, your, your parents, your siblings, um, your family unit, um, you know, just your life as you knew it to be, friends even maybe that, that you've had, I don't know, falling out with or something, you know, things are falling, falling apart between you two. This can also be business, uh, business partnerships and things like that. But as a result of this tower moment and tearing something away, it has brought in the clarity for you because you were holding on to something over here fearful of making a decision, fearful of stepping into your own, honoring your heart, standing in your truth, finding the confidence to do it. And you didn't want to upset the apple cart, basically, but spirit or universe came in and did it for you. A sequence of events took place and bada bing, bada boom, you know, Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall or, you know, Jack and Jill went down the hill. <laughs> Really, and so it just kind of unleashed, and as a result of it, this clarity came in for you. 
you're having epiphanies and revelations and aha moments and light bulb after light bulb after light bulb. It's opening you up. This is designed to open you up. So even if this was painful, even if it was a headache, even if it did cause upheaval and you know, for some of you worse than others. It's designed that way to get you out of being stuck in your rut so that you can become the magician in your life and create the magic of your life so that you are no longer in hangman mode, just, you know, sitting back waiting, waiting and wondering and observing and not taking action. Not taking action doesn't give you the, the ability to be the magician. But it, you, this is a requirement because you've become so dissatisfied in your life, whatever that is for you, personally, professionally, romantically, platonically, um, physically, whatever that is for you that you're dissatisfied with, you are disheartened with, you are not passionate about, this has been designed to wake you up. So now this is in the reverse position, meaning you are coming out of that stagnation. You are coming out of the burdens that you were holding and the ego that you were you know, stuck in your own ego, other people's ego, bondage, contracts, negotiations, ties, whatever it is, dropping the ego, dropping the burden, getting real with yourself, taking a step back to reflect, coming out to be the magician in your life, no longer being dissatisfied because the tower moment happened that gave you the freedom to be free to now make new decisions that will align you. Okay. It brings in that clarity, opens you up and is aligning you. Now, this could be scary for some of you, right? Um, but you need to trust. Someone could be coming in offering you a cup. You are offering your own cup to yourself. New opportunities coming in for you as a result of it. These new opportunities could be causing that anxiety within you. Maybe you've got multiple opportunities. You don't know what decision to make. But it's all right because, again, that clarity is going to come in. The sun is going to shine brighter tomorrow. You have been through a battle, okay? You're healing from this battle, right? But you still have life in you. If this card was in the reverse position, I would say game over. You're done. You're given up, right? But this is saying I may be battered and beaten, you know, bruised and bleeding, <laughs> but I'm still standing. I still have life force in me. I still have enough fight for the next day. <clears throat> I don't want to fight with people. I don't want to be in those kinds of battles, but I want to fight for myself. I want to fight for my life. I want to fight for my heart's desires, my soul calling, right? Fight for um, my right to be here, really. The life that you were given and realigning yourself the way that you need to be. But there is something in you that needs to come out because you've been denying it for too long, the death card in the reverse position is not being able to let go of something, someone, some situation, some circumstance. This can be karmic in nature, soulmate in nature, soul family, soul group, okay? This can also be something that you need to be doing in this life that you've been running from, running from for a very long time because you've been stuck in the 3D society and the expectations of family and a job that you don't even really like or a path that's not aligned to you, you know, going through the grind every day, doing the rat race thing. And as a result of it, you've been unhappy for a long time. You've been unhappy for a long time because what you do every day is not aligned with who you are. What you do every day is not aligned with who you're meant to become. What you do every day is not aligned with your purpose and your path, your destiny, your calling whatever it is that you're meant to fulfill here. And so the death card in the reverse position is basically that nagging feeling deep inside of you saying, you need to pay attention to this. You can't run, you can't hide. <laughs> um, and we're coming for you. The spirit is coming for you. <laughs> it's time to get aligned. It's time to, you know, do that thing that you need to be doing. You will be much happier as a result of it. The wounds of yesteryear will heal and you will step into your own in a very strong and empowering way that is uplifting and happy and fulfilled and joyful and peaceful and just completely different than the life you're used to living. And it will inspire others to do the same. Now, what they're saying with these oracles is that for some of you, you're in so deep, the roots are so, so deep, right? Um, the roots go deep or you're in deep. Um, 
into your situation with bondage and agreements and red tape and contracts and fine print and whatever. Or your dynamic is so thick and multifaceted between work, career, home, family, children, whatever it is, that you don't see a way out. You're not sure how to do all this. That's why there's all of this anxiety, fear, discord within you, okay? But there's glimmers of hope splashed throughout this entire spread that spirit is saying, hey, you know what I mean? We're giving you the nudges. We're giving you the signs on your path. You're just stuck right now and we're trying to show you the way. And one of the ways that they do that, if you're not doing it for yourself, is bringing in the tower moment so that, the whatever it is that's holding you back is ripped away or crumbles down, giving you the freedom to actually stop and think. Think for yourself for once instead of, um, instead of kowtowing to everybody else's expectations. And so as a result of it, some of you really need to take some time. You need a holiday. You need to go on vacation. This card is talking about going to the ocean. So some of you really need the healing, um, the healing effects of water. Uh, if the ocean isn't your thing, then go take a holiday in whatever geographic region suits you best. You know what I mean? Some of you, it's the desert. Others of you, it's the mountains. Some of you, it's the pyramids of Egypt. Whatever floats your boat, but take a holiday. If you can't take a holiday right now, then take some time at home, a few days to rest and regroup, to be quiet, to not have any distractions. Take a paid leave or a leave of absence or a hiatus or whatever, however you can put it together for yourself. But they're calling for you to take some time away to recharge your batteries, to get back in touch, in touch with your passions and your heart's desires. Now, this card does talk about sexual energy. Some of you, you are going to be on fire sexually, like just <laughs> ready to go all the time. Um, and that's wonderful. That is, that is, you know, the, the, um, uh, the sign or the synchronicity or spirit's way or the universe's way or your soul's way of trying to wake you up a little bit, right? Those of you who are beyond that, that um, um, life, um, what was I going to say? Not life path, but those of you who are beyond that, oh my God, I just had it. I really need some coffee. Mason is on his bed now. Mason, can you go get mommy a cup of coffee, please? I would really appreciate it. Um, those of you who are beyond the life stage of sexual energy, of your prime, um, then, you know, just take, take the, whatever message from this card that suits you, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say? Find the passions within you. It doesn't have to be sex. Passions arouse, passions in your heart, your desire, your humanitarian efforts, your creative ability, um, dreams that you've, that you've had for a long time that you haven't gone after, okay? Finding passion in other ways. Now, those of you who are in that life stage of sexual energy, you know, sexual energy along with other passions are going to be aroused in you and you are just going to be on fire all the way around. Um, so that's wonderful. I love that. Finding that passion too will give you that courage that you need to make the decisions and cut the cords. Some of you are going to be cutting cords left and right. Cut, cut, snip, snip to people, places, things, environments, circumstances, um, relationships, whatever that is for you. You are realigning not only with passion, sexual energy, kundalini within you, being awakened within your soul, but your emotions and your heart are going to be, you know, breaking wide open to realign you on your path. You could feel an absolute floodgate of energy soaring through your being, your your soul, your heart, your mind, your physical body, um, just really waking you up in so many ways that you're going to feel like you're in another dimension. And I can actually um, attest to that because that happened to me last summer. Wonderful. <laughs> I really enjoyed it and I'm ready for more of it. And then here we have heart's desires. Okay. So following your heart you know, your heart's desires, you're being showered with love. Your time of waiting will soon be over. 
your desires will be fulfilled. Um, you know, so this is wonderful because those of you that have been stuck for a long time feeling like you're never going to reach your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, it's not for me, it's for someone else, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy enough, yada, yada, yada. It's time to get rid of all that negative self-talk because they are saying that if you strip away the old, strip away what no longer serves you, who, what, where, when, why, how, it doesn't matter. Strip it away, allow it to fall. Get back in touch with yourself. Come into your own. They will help to realign in such a way that your heart's desires will come true. Whatever that is for you. For some of you, it's, it's a big dream that you have in career. Others of you, it's to get married and have children. Others of you, it's to go live on the beach somewhere. You want to get out of the city <laughs> and go live on a beach. Others of you, it's to leave the corporate world and, and open your own business. Whatever your heart's desire is, whatever your passions are, and whoever they're with. Some of you, this is twin flame and soulmate energy as well. Um, and... Um, it just depends. So, you know, everybody's on a different path here. But as a result of this, you guys, as a result of going through this change, because in the channeled message it talked about, you must go through this metamorphosis now in order to gain the clarity. You must go through this metamorphosis now in order to find yourself again, in order to have this, be this, live this, right? in order to feel the energy of this. You cannot feel this energy if you're dead inside, if you're a robot, if you're a sheep going through society. Um, and, you know, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but I've gotten a little bit more passionate in my voice and delivery. So the energy is, is soaring through me to try to inspire you. And I haven't even had coffee yet. <laughs> I gotta start getting up earlier and pouring coffee before I do these cards, I swear. It just takes too long. Because um, by the time you brew the coffee and pour it, I feel a little bit more awake and disconnected from the dream state. And it's easier for me to channel when I'm like that. So, Because once I start having coffee, I think about my day and boom, you're off to the races with all your to-do lists. So it is time. It is time. A lot of you are going to be giving birth. Giving birth. Some of you could be literally. But I'm talking about giving birth to the new you. Not really the new you. The original you. You are shedding the skin of the shell of the old you, of the person that you created that's not aligned with the real you. So this new you is the real you. You see what I mean? You're just finding you again. And, th and that's, that's what this is all about. So definitely take some time for a holiday or some kind of vacation or staycation or something so that you can spend that time having fun and, and being childlike and free and playing and journaling and meditating. You know what I mean? This, all of this, this is heavy energy right here. This is society. This is work. This is expectations. This is family. This is people demanding things from you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, it's, it's 3D energy. And yeah, we all have to go through it, you know? Um, but what they're trying to get across to my Facebook group lately is the more aligned you become with yourself. Now I'm talking with my hands. <laughs> the more aligned you become with yourself, the less resistance you will have on a day-to-day -day basis. The less heartache, the less frustration, the less dissatisfaction. You will be aligned on a daily basis. It, it's not, not to say that you're going to be in such perfect state of bliss that you're never going to have challenges. But when you're aligned, those challenges are easier to handle. Those challenges are easier to find solutions to. You're not making decisions out of ego. You're not making decisions out of uh, pleasing other people. You know what I mean? So you're not going to get yourself, yourself in sticky situations when you're aligned. When you're not aligned, that's when you are facing all of these circumstances that are keeping you stuck in a life that you don't want to be living. All right? So that's what that is all about. So drop the burdens if you can and go take a holiday. Get in touch with your passions. For those of you that are in that life stage, have some wonderful, passionate, deep, intimate sex. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. It's a part of life. We're human. Go do it. Enjoy. Um, and um, be safe, of course, and, and do it responsibly and with the right person. But you know what I mean. And, um, and follow your heart's desires as a result of it, all right? And again, if you're not in that life stage, find your passion in other ways. You're on vacation, you don't wanna have sex, go do some yoga. You know what I mean? Open yourself up that way. 
getting in touch with the, the energetic uh, points of the body and um, really um, plugging yourself in that way, all right? So that's beautiful. Now let's talk about this real quick. Now again, I know I said yesterday, I'm not gonna be doing this every day. I was just drawn to do it this morning, you know, so don't get used to this, okay? Tomorrow might literally be a three minute video. We're at 25 minutes right now. Wow, uh, I'm not gonna go through this too long. I know I say that and then I go through it too long, but look at this guys, look, all right? Love, love energy here. Those of you that maybe have been estranged from a lover, estranged from a significant other, you're broke up, you're not talking, I don't know, there could be definite reunion here, reunion and reconciliation. 